This is NBC 10 News. We are following breaking news this morning. A mother and son are dead following a three alarm fire in Chester County. NBC 10 Tim Furlong is live in Coatesville. Tim. Yeah, Keith, sad story. A mother and son died in the fire here in Coatesville this morning. A couple of people have non-life-threatening injuries, and now a bunch of people are at a shelter a few blocks away. Take a look at the video we shot earlier. The fire broke out at about 12.30. It quickly went to three alarms. The fire chief tells me they didn't find any working smoke detectors in the homes. About three homes involved altogether. A number of people did make it out quickly, though. They were able to get up on the roof where firefighters were then able to make the rescue. But again, two people have non-life-threatening injuries. But a mother named Elizabeth and her son Emmanuel died in the fire. We hear now from her friend who also happened to live in the same building and who is now also out of a house. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Actually, we were um, planning on moving together, her and her son and my husband and myself and our baby. That was our plan. We actually were looking at houses not too long ago. Yeah, absolutely. Sad story here in Coatesville. It's six and chestnut. Sad, sad story. But we're now joined by uh, Sarah Smith from the Red Cross. Uh, Sarah, you have how many people now in a shelter a few blocks away from here? We have um, 38 people now over at the community center that are uh, in our shelter. When you guys got the call here, I mean, you guys were here very, very quickly getting people out. How many people took you up immediately? I mean, it seems like a lot of times people don't take you guys up right away. But in this case, everybody, they had nowhere else to go. Yeah, we uh, originally were told 31 people, now 38 are over at the shelter. They're all there. Um, we have cots set up. We have blankets, comfort kits. We'll be caring for them, making sure that they stay dry in this rain and uh, and get the help that they need. We also have mental health uh, counselors available. Uh, this is a tough situation, so we want to make sure that they're taking care of that in that way as well. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. Red Cross, always there when you need them. That's why you guys are the best. We appreciate it. But again, two people died in a fire, mother and son here in Coates. We're going to continue to follow the story all morning. So stay with your news channel, NBC 10. Live in Coatesville, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.